Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be customizing the HVY Barrage or the Heavy Barrage, depending on how you like to say it. Now, I have never customized this vehicle for the channel, so I'm pretty excited to do so. It is, of course, on sale the week that I am recording this, which is why I'm doing it. However, if you are watching this in the future, I will still give you my breakdown of it and if it's worth it for the regular non-sale price. But for those of you who are actually playing this week and considering buying the Barrage, I will also factor in the sale price this week to my decisions about what I say about the vehicle. But for right now, let's go ahead and hop inside and start customizing. Now, the Barrage, I do believe you do need an MOC or an Avenger uh, to be able to customize it. But of course, I'm in the facility and I'm customizing it here. So to get started, we got the armor upgrade. We're going to go all the way up on that, of course, for the brakes. I'm going to go all the way up on those as well, even though brakes really don't do much in GTA. Then we get some actual cool customization options. So let's go through them. Now for the doors, we have quite a few different options. I'm just gonna scroll through them. I'm not gonna say the names of each one because uh, that is going to take a long time, especially with this many options. However, I will say I am kind of liking the reinforced frame and I'm also kind of liking the camouflage net. I think I'm gonna go for the secondary camouflage net for today's build, so let's go ahead and throw that on. For the bumper panel, what is this? Is this on the front? This is on the front, okay. We have a ton of different options here, holy. Um, Not a big fan of the carbon fiber on the bumper. I feel like that's just not very militarized sort of seeming, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I don't know, I just wouldn't put that on a military vehicle. I feel like carbon fiber is pretty expensive, so not the best idea, maybe. Now, as far as these upgrades go, I do feel like the Durbar construct is kind of cool looking. At the same time, though, I'm almost tempted to just go for the custom bumper. And in fact, I think that I actually will just go for the custom bumper. Uh, it's just a little more exaggerated on the front end, but nothing too crazy. And that's really just to avoid some of these carbon options. I'm really not a fan of the carbon fiber on there. Unless there's a bunch of stuff that, you know, is going to require carbon fiber. We're just going to stick with this, but we might change it up. We'll have to see. Now on the front we got the racks here and uh, we got the stock rack with three ammo boxes on it. We also have a removed rack I guess. We got the twin cartridge cases, full cartridge cases. We got the black grill cage, primary grill cage, secondary grill cage, carbon and camo net. I'm liking that. I like the camo net with the uh, with the boxes there. I'm a fan. We're gonna go for that. Now for the side panel, we can remove the metal, uh, the diamond plating there. So we can remove that. We can make that carbon. We can also make bigger diamond plating on here. We can also do that with carbon. Uh, we can add a window for some reason. That seems really weird to me. We also have the mesh grate panel. We have that in a few different options. We got the reinforced panel and back to stock. Um, to me, I feel like what would protect the occupants the best would probably be to just keep a panel that's actually got stuff on it. So for that reason, I think I might just make it a basic panel with a, with none of the Durbar stuff on it. Um, and I'm just totally realizing we have carbon rear fenders on this thing. I'm really hoping we're going to be able to change that, but I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. So for the roll cage, we got an external uh, half cage here in primary secondary or carbon we also have the primary mesh version of that as well we have the camo net version on top of that and we got some reinforced stuff here we have the durbar half cage that's definitely pretty protective i do kind of like that uh, for that reason i feel like nothing's going to go through there when we when we get shot at which is kind of cool not a super no I, I don't know i'm not a super huge fan of many of these options uh, but at the same time i don't know something about the durbar cage is kind of like calling my name because it's just going to offer like so much protection which i feel like is going to be kind of necessary for this so maybe i will actually go for that now for the turret bracket we can add a carbon detail a riot frame a reinforced frame or a carbon reinforced frame we're gonna go for the reinforced frame even though it's adding in some carbon like roll cage stuff which i'm not a super huge fan of it is going to protect the rear end and the occupants just a little bit better so i'm going to go for that now for the truck bed itself which of course is in here and we've covered it all up with a bunch of stuff 
uh, we can add a bunch of different things in here. Now, I'm personally going to go for the utility upgrade too, I think, because I like the, the box in there, plus the shovels and whatnot. I do think that is a pretty cool look. However, the bed rack with duffel bags is also kind of cool, but I'm going to go for this option and I'm going to stick with it. So this is what we're looking like so far. Next up, we got the engine. Of course, we're going to go EMS level four on that for the exhaust. Uh, we will change this up and try to make it exit at a different point. Now, can we get it to exit out the back? I have no idea where this is exiting, but uh, okay, we're back to the side. Oh, maybe this is, oh, maybe that's switching to the other side. It totally is. It's switching to the other side. Okay. Um, phew. What do we even want to do here, man? Oh, we got some rear exit exhausts. Let's go for the twin chrome star exhaust, maybe, because I kind of like the little army star right there. Let's go for that. And I mean, we could also do stacks here too, which is kind of cool, but nah, this is fine. Now for the hood, we got a bunch of different things we can add onto here as well, which is kind of cool. So we'll go through these options here. Um, not seeing anything that I'm like really like in love with. I mean, the duffel bags are kind of cool. Maybe something like that. I don't know, that could be kind of interesting. At the same time, I'm not like a super huge fan of it. Camo net? Seems kind of weird. I guess the front of this thing is empty. I guess the engine is in the rear of it, presumably. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe just the Durbar bulkhead. I feel like that's kind of a good look for it, so we'll go for that. For the headlights, we will go Xenon, and I'm also going to add a neon kit onto this thing because it will lower the center of gravity ever so slightly just by putting more mass on the underside of the vehicle. And next up for the livery, we have a lot of different camos, and there are so many different variations of them, which is pretty cool to see. I don't know which one to go for. Maybe the Coyote Geometric. I haven't ever used that one, I don't think. And I do think it looks pretty good, so maybe I will go for the Coyote Geometric. I kind of like the look of that a lot. Let's let's do that. For the plate, yellow on black for sure, for the respray on the vehicle. We have it in a green currently. I am kind of wanting to change that up though. I'm feeling maybe like a dark earth, maybe even a desert tan. I feel like a desert tan would look pretty cool with this. So I'm going to go for desert tan for the primary, and then for the secondary color, I think I am going to do matte black because I feel like that's just a really good look for this vehicle. Next up, we got the transmission, $40,000 for that. Turbo, let's also do that as well. Now for the weapons, we can also add some different weapons onto this thing. Now, if you go for the minigun, this actually outputs significantly less damage than the regular machine gun. So I would recommend keeping the machine gun. And on the rear, you can also go for the same minigun, or of course you can go for the 40 millimeter grenade launcher, which is a pretty cool option to have. However, it's not really that awesome. And you're probably not really going to have people in the back very much uh, so for me i'm just going to keep the machine gun but of course you can feel free to upgrade to the grenade launcher i would definitely just avoid the minigun for both the front and the rear for sure because it's just worse than the than the machine gun initially so yeah definitely avoid that for the wheel type, I'm going to go for off-road and I am going to go for my favorites, which are the Concave Rally Master. We're going to do those in, I think, a black. We could also do them in like a, like a Desert Tan. You know what? Let's do Desert Tan. That's a, that's a bit of a change. We'll do that. Bulletproof tires, we got those. And that is all we can do to the HVY Barrage. Let's go ahead and take this thing out of the facility. And of course, we're going to do a sound test and a full review on the vehicle. So let's uh, go ahead and take a listen to how this thing sounds. So it doesn't sound that incredible, but at the same time, it's not the worst sounding vehicle of all time. Now, the HVY Barrage is a vehicle that I have historically been quite critical of because I think it's largely just a worse Insurgent Pickup Custom and kind of a worse version of the Night Shark for nearly the same money, if not more. Now, just quickly before we talk any more about this vehicle, let's go ahead and head over to Warstock Cash and Carry and just examine this thing and see what the price of the vehicle actually is because I don't happen to remember off the top of my head. Regularly, it goes for $2,121,000 or 
just under 1.6 million. Right now it's on sale for just under a million or just over $1.25 million. Now at the full price, it is easily more expensive than the Night Shark, almost by a million dollars, which is crazy. And it's a little bit more than the Insurgent Pickup Custom, which is kind of crazy as well. Now it does get the two top mounted machine guns, which is a pretty cool feature. But beyond that, there's not a whole lot about the barrage that's uh, that awesome. Now it can take about four RPGs, it can take about eight homing missiles. So not very great and honestly below average armor because the Night Shark and the Insurgent as well as even the HVY Menacer, which I also don't really like too much, that can even take more missiles and more damage generally than the HVY Barrage can. So this thing is pretty under armored and it also is missing a few key features to make it better than some of its direct competitors that are also around the same price and or cheaper. For example, the Menacer and the Insurgent Pickup Custom both have a proximity mine dropper. This thing does not, and that is a pretty huge blow. The Menacer has driver controlled machine guns and so does the Night Shark. The Insurgent does not, but it does have a top mounted gun and significantly better armor while being pretty much the same speed if not maybe even faster than the barrage now this thing is pretty quick i must say it's uh it's not too bad to drive on road for sure and off-road it's pretty decent as well however if you drive around the barrage for a long enough period of time you will notice some things about it that are less than ideal let's just say for example, when you are cornering or going up on two wheels and things like that with the barrage, this thing does tend to have a pretty significant issue when landing where the wheels occasionally, and it happens more often than you would ever hope, uh, they will clip into the map, causing very, very strange behavior uh, when you know, you're know you going off-road. It's going to cause you redirections. It's going to cause you all kinds of issues, which is very strange. Now, I do play on PC, so this could be exclusive to PC for all I know. But what I do know is that this thing just generally is not that awesome when it comes to off-roading or just kind of driving in general. And if you also couple the fact that it's just kind of worse than the Insurgent Pickup Custom, it's worse than the Night Shark, it's even worse than the Menacer, it just really starts to add up and make you see that this thing maybe isn't the best vehicle of all time. Now, I will just say, if you are watching this review when this thing is on sale, it is significantly better than when it is not on sale because right now it's right around the same price as the Night Shark and for what you're paying, you're kind of getting equivalent-ish performance and if you're paying you know, the trade price for the HVY Barrage, then you are actually getting a pretty good deal, I would say. So if you're looking at this thing right now, if you can get it for the trade price, I would say it's probably worth picking up, but only really if you don't have any other armed vehicles like if you have an insurgent pickup custom there's not really much of a reason to have a barrage same with if you have a night shark or a menacer for example the barrage just kind of isn't really worth owning in comparison to those vehicles so i would advise you if you have an insurgent if you have a night shark if you have a menacer if you have an apc even to probably not consider purchasing the barrage however if this is going to be like your first armed vehicle or something like that it's not a bad price to pay for this now if you don't have the trade price though and this thing is actually more money than the night shark i would say just go for the night shark i think in the long run you'll be happier it's much faster as driver controlled machine guns it has better armor it's nicer to drive it has better handling better acceleration you name it pretty much everything with the night shark is better except for the fact that this thing has top mounted guns that's the only thing it really has going for it the Barrage is an interesting vehicle and I don't want to not like this thing, but the facts are that it's just not nearly as good as some of its direct competitors that are also cheaper than it in the first place. So the HVY Barrage is a vehicle that I cannot necessarily recommend. I really wish that I could show you guys what I'm talking about with the wheels clipping in and out of the ground, but of course this thing is being on its best behavior right now and I can't seem to get it to work, which is quite annoying. But trust me, the HVY Barrage is not that awesome to drive, and for the price, it's not that awesome of a vehicle, unfortunately. I want to like this thing. I think it could be really good. I think it's definitely got potential. It's just kind of not that awesome, especially comparatively, like I've said a few times. So the HVY Barrage, I would not recommend purchasing, especially if you are watching this when this thing is at regular price. I would say do not buy the Barrage. Look into the HVY Insurgent Pickup Custom look into the Night Shark and 
well, I wouldn't even say look into the Menacer, but out of these two, I would definitely say buy the Menacer over the HVY Barrage. It's just simply much better. There we go. I got it to happen. Did you see that where it clipped into the ground right there and it caused it to just mess up on the landing? I really hope you guys caught that, but it is super annoying and it happens all the time with the brush. I'll see if I can get it to work again here. Yeah, there we go. It clips into the ground and then bounces you out. It's super weird. But anyway, please don't buy a barrage. It's not really worth owning. Now, I have owned one of these for quite some time. I never drive it. And that goes to, sh that goes to say a lot because I drive my Insurgent Pickup Custom all the time. And same with the Night Shark as well. So please don't buy a barrage. Use your money wisely. Get an HVY Insurgent Pickup Custom or a Night Shark instead. Much, much better use of your money for sure. I figure I should probably include some gameplay of what the uh, what the weapons are like, so, you know. It will one-shot an NPC, um, but players, it, it'll be, you know, two or three probably, I would say, unless you get a headshot. Uh, but yeah, the guns are not that incredible either, so that that's, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I can't really say they're not that incredible. They're as good as the Insurgent Pickup Customs uh, or the HVY Menacers, uh, but yeah, it's it's just like... It's just kind of regular stuff, to be honest. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, that's it for the HVY Barrage customization and review in GTA Online. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not dislike, consider subscribing to my channel if you guys are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.